thyroid. Okay, let's look at thyroid. Now, Dr. David Brownstein is considered the expert on iodine. And he's written a book called Iodine, Why You Need It and Why You Can't Live Without It. And in his book, he shows that overactive and underactive thyroid are usually both due to lack of iodine. So number one, iodine. Well, how can you tell if someone needs iodine? Because iodine is the thyroid's number one food. And what about iodized salt? Did you know that within one hour of opening the iodized salt, all the iodine's gone? Did you know that there's no iodine in Celtic salt and there's no iodine in Himalayan salt? Because it evaporates. So when the waves crash, the iodine goes into sub suspension, goes across and lands on, on the soil. That's why the uh, plants grown around the edge of a country near the sea are higher in iodine. We suggest is to buy Lugol's solution. Lugol's solution is a combination of iodine and iodide. And iodine, iodide, is used mostly by the the uh, reproductive organs of the body and the iodine is used by the other organs of the body. So Lugol's solution is a combination of those two. It's a dark brown fluid and what you do is you put it on the inside of the arm, put one drop there and it'll make a brown smudge or mark and then the person observes how long it stays brown. If the iodine's gone in an hour, that person's very low. If there's still some semblance of colour after five hours, that person's got good amounts of iodine. So what do you do if it's all gone in an hour? You just put it on every day till it stays for five hours. That's simple, isn't it? So that's a good iodine test. Now if the person's washing their hands a lot, they might put it on their, their stomach or they might put it further up. Because if the body's low in iodine, it'll grab it and it'll grab it quick. It's as simple as that. Where are most people getting it from? Probably from, from the food that they're eating. That's why it's commonly known people that live in the, se in the central part of uh, countries are often uh, low in iodine. That's not the only problem with the thyroid. So iodine is converted in the body to thyroxin and that conversion needs selenium. People have mercury fillings in their mouth or they're eating a lot of fish with high mercury they are often low in selenium. So a person can have adequate iodine but if they don't have the selenium the iodine can't be converted into thyroxin.